Hello there, it's me, Sari, here again, and today I'm here to show you how I operate the Instax Share SP2. It's a Polaroid picture printer, it's really small and tiny, and it's really lightweight in comparison for to, let's say, a mobile phone or even the Selfie CP900, which I've got here. As you can see, this one is so much bigger, it will absolutely need even more space to go in and out with the paper. But the CP900, of course, will give you better prints than the Polaroid printer will. But that is also what the Polaroid pictures are all about. They are not... They don't have the intention of being perf perfect in the, in the quality and everything, but it's a fun gadget. It's nice to get these th this size. You can add on some text, and you can have some fun with these. And what I've done so far, if you want to, you could watch the Swedish version of this video where, where I really gave this printer a test drive, and I printed these different photos. Fortunate, um, I hope you can be able to follow that video even though we don't, don't know the Swedish language. I won't be printing out the same pictures again, there's really no use doing that, but you can see here that I've done just kept the frame white and added on some text there. The same thing goes for this one. As you can see it's sort of a milky outlook on this so that it's not going to be precise and crisp like it's going to be from the Canon selfie let's say this one is a f I did have this one as a profile picture on Facebook for a while this is something that I printed out on monochrome paper black and white image the same thing goes for this and in comparison to having printed the same photo on the color film you can see that it's looking like this. So I can think, I actually think that this one is more black and white than this one. This one goes more in a sort of a grey scale in my book. And then I actually lucked out with this picture really well. I mean, just look at her. I mean, it's a really nice print, I think. And these are all right as well. I can't complain that much. I was actually thinking it was, wasn't going to be this good, but it is rather good, I must say. So let's see if I could show you some of the tips and tricks on what to think about when it comes to the Instax, Instax Share smartphone printer SP2 and it's the golden version. So the first thing of, of course is that you need to charge your printer. The battery is completely dead and there is a yellow mark there and you should have the yellow bar going on the same side. I accidentally put it in the wrong way. It actually fit in the wrong way, but it, it didn't load. And instead of getting a green light, I got a red light. And I was just thinking that it's going to change. It's going to change. And I waited for a couple of hours. Then finally I realized I should actually have turned it over. And when I did that, it started loading or charging automatically. So while I'm talking about the printer itself, it has got a LED display here. So if I'm going to start it up, you can see that there's going to be a couple of lights there. So, first of all, the 10 are going to be lit up, but after a second or two, it's going to tell you how many prints you have printed or how many photos you have printed. So, two of them are missing, so I have printed two black and white pictures. I have eight to go. And the thing is that you mustn't open the lid when you have some film left in it because if you are going to do that it's going to be exposed to light and you're just going to develop the picture and you're not going to get anything out of it so just bear in mind that if you're going to play around with some black and white or monochrome pictures be make sure that you actually complete the full roll before you go on so I'm using it with my smartphone because I really thought at first that I would get myself a Polaroid camera because that has been a dream of mine since I was a little child. I still haven't got one because having thought about it for a little bit, I just came to realize that a Polaroid camera will have a small viewfinder like this. And you have to put your eye here and you actually have to make sure that you are getting all of the things in where you're going to get them. You need to get the crisp print and everything because you just have the one chance to do things. And with the Polaroid printer, the picture will come out all at once and you might have ruined the picture, you might not have, but 
that's the reason why I actually decided on sticking to my mobile and adding on that sort of compact camera instead. So using the mobile you will need an app. Instax Share is the app's name. You have it there. And it's from Fuji. And the app itself will give you a couple of solutions or choices of what to do. You could go to your photo album. You could combine, you could keep all of your pictures here if you wanted. You could prepare this months ahead if you wanted to. And you could just slide and glide here and you could just pick a picture if you want to. Let's see if I can find something black and white. I'm not sure if I have taken any black and white pictures of late. Uh, or, or let's say earlier on of late I have started taking black and white pictures again. Because I just think that they're going to be really pretty and everything. But let's see if I can find something. Well, I do have a couple of old pictures, so let's see if I can make this one work. This is going to be rather sort of a yellowy one. This is my, 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 myself and I in my 30s, so I think this was in 1996 or something. So let's put it there. I'm just going to... let's go back. I do have the pen up here, so I'm going to push that if I want to do some editing. I'm going to go to template and I'm going to go for the text one, because that's the way for me to do some writing. So I'm going to put my name there, sorry. And then I'm going to do put the year there, 1996. So that's almost 20 years ago now, isn't it? So I'm just going to do a simple... And, oh my goodness, I actually see that I have to edit the picture. I do want to find a way to move the picture a little. Let's see if I can do that. Perhaps I need to go here. Hmm... Perhaps I shouldn't have had the text there then. Let's see. I'm just, I would just want, would like to take the picture down a little bit. Or on the other hand, it will give it some interest perhaps. Edit the picture. Yes, I actually did get to it. So there we are. I'm going to do that and connect and print. I'm hoping the printer is on. If it isn't, I need to turn it on. It is connecting to it. It's going rather quickly, I must say. So bear in mind that this one is a sort of a yellowy black and white picture. And I do have the black and white or the monochrome Instax Mini Fujifilm in there. So let's see what I'll end up with. It could be fun to just compare it to a color film as well, just to see how well it will do. And the thing is that the picture will come out in 10 seconds, but you will have to wait at least 5 minutes to get a real get a real good impression of this one. So I'll just keep, want to keep it there for now. I'm going to go back and uh, let's see if I have anything else that is in black and white. Or if I would dare to do a print from colour on black and monochrome paper just to see how well or badly it's going to interpret. So let's see, I'm going to just take a beautiful rosy thingy here and I'm just going to print it, not do anything about filters or templates or anything, just to see what it's going to look like. And you can, you can see that the picture is starting to develop, it's rather light now, but in five minutes or so it's going to be fully developed. I'm going to put the other one just there and I'll be picking them up in a second or two, or let's say a minute or two. So, I do have a couple of more black pictures to print. Should I dare to go somewhere else and just do something for the hell of it? You know what I came to think about? I could actually go back and I could do with one of the ones that I've actually worked with in, a, in, an, in another app, putting, making them sort of sketchy looking. So I'm just going to print that one just to see how it's going to look. It's going to be fun. So the one thing you could think about is that if you don't, if you're not satisfied with all the filters and the templates and everything in the Share app, you could absolutely download another app to your mobile and just do some editing there, and then just pick up the photo later on. Actually, I think this is going to be rather nice. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So what else could I do? Well, I could actually show you 
there are some other things. You could go for your photo folder, of course, if you like the last print, and then of course you, then of course you need to really look and wait and see uh, how it's going to look before you do the printing, or because you do have a button for it, reprint, or you could just do a reprint from the app. But then again, you mustn't have done any more printings in the way meanwhile, and I think there's a five minute limit to this, so I'm not sure. So, let's see, if I'm going to do a real-time template, or I'm going, just going to go... F if I'm going to do a real-time template, what I'll, getting, what, what I'll end up with... Actually, I do need to disconnect this one. I came to think of it. I didn't need to disconnect it. Otherwise, it not, it's not going to work. So, I'm just going to go back if I can. Or, I could just close it down. And you need to hold it in for a minute, just to make it make sure that it's going to cl get closed. So now it's closed, it's charging. So let's see if I could do something. Now I'm going to make a real-time photo here. It's going to look like that. I need to push OK once, twice. And what it will give me is the date, the place where I have taken the picture, the degrees outside and I'm thinking also the humidity and it does say with a geotank real time so this is what I have in front of me right now I'm going to connect and print and I need to turn on the printer again and with the steady green light I know that it's turned on search again because I was too quick about it and now it's connecting to it so let's see what it's going to look like because there's some color here but I'm going to do get a black and white print, so I mustn't forget about that. So if you are sort of on a budget and you don't really want to spend twice the amount or twice the price to get 10 black and white pictures, you could definitely go for a budget version of black and white using the colour print or the colour film, because I think it's not too big a difference when it comes to making them. Just in comparison, just look at that, it's getting rather nice. But still I'm going to leave these to develop further. It didn't print. So let's see what I can do about it. Now it's coming there. And I have to wait a little until it's... ...ready to be pulled up, and I'm going to put it there. And I can actually go back. I could go back, and then I could put, pick something from the either Facebook line or the Instagram line. So this is this one is social media connected as well, and I think that is really nice. So I'm going to go for select from SNS, and for a change, I'll be going to Facebook just to see if I can find something there. I'm thinking I will definitely want to use some black and white pictures now, so let's see if I, if, if it can connect to it. I'm thinking that if I have too many pictures here, it might take me a longer time, or the mobile long, a longer time to get there. So here we have a black and white photo, it's alright, it isn't as yellow as it was in the mobile itself. So now the app has stopped, I need to restart it. And I'm going to do this again, and instead I'm going to go to Instagram, because I did have the, this problem before when I tried going on Facebook. Perhaps it isn't that compatible with that. So let's see if I can find something on Instagram instead. And one thing I should point out is, of course, that the Instax Share SP2 does have its own Wi-Fi port, so you needn't have Wi-Fi at home to be able to use this, so I think that is a good idea. Let's see if I could go for something. I'm thinking that perhaps this isn't going to be the best photo ever, but still, it could be nice. What you will get on your photo from Instagram is the date you posted it and the, and the clock time, of course, how many hearts or likes you have on it, and the tags or the hashtags you have put on it. And I don't want to add anything else to this, so I'm just going to connect it and print it. <coughs> and do a little bit of coughing in the meanwhile. And do a little bit of waiting. 
So as you can see the size is three times two inches. It's a sort of a business card size to it. So if you would like to, you could actually use these as business cards, couldn't you? I think that would be a really great idea. So let's see if I go back a couple of steps here. So I do have three more black and white pictures to print. I'll back just for to be on the safe side because I think that it's sometimes it's a little bit difficult to just wait and wait and wait and wait. I think it's better to go back all the way. So now I'm giving Facebook another chance just to see if it's going to work. Some people might wonder how many prints can you do in one charge. I for one don't know yet because I'm just still charging the battery for the first time. It does take <clears throat> sort of 90 minutes to get fully charged, they say. Some people have said that after 25 prints it just died. Some people say that, well, I could actually print out 100 pictures, it's alright. So, you know, this one doesn't work. It's just closed again, so I need to restart it. And I'm not going to give up now, am I? So I'm just going to go there with the Facebook again. If it's not going to work, I'll be going back to Instagram, of course. So, it, you might get 25 to 100 from this, I'm thinking. One drawback, of course, is that you will get the printer itself and the cord, but you will not get the plug that will, put, will be put in the, in the wall. But the good thing, of course, is that since this is a micro USB cord, you could just pick it off from your mobile charger, so you could actually just use that. And I'm thinking that they have chosen to do so in order to be able to send this one all over the world without having to pay attention to the plugs and such. And as I told you, I think I told you, you mustn't open the lid while you have film in it. When you have nothing here, then you can open it and just do some recharging. Because if you are going to open it right now, the picture will develop and you have nothing to show for it. It's just going to be white. And um, when it comes to setting the printer with the cell phone, you actually need to have the printer turned on before you can find it via the app itself. I went to Wi-Fi mode and I couldn't find it, but in the app I could find it, but it needs to be turned on just to have a, have it, having said that once more. And if you have a few Fuji camera, you could actually do prints from that uh, camera, if the camera has Wi-Fi, that is, I'm thinking. I don't, I don't think it's going to work if it's completely manual. But that service won't be provided for other cameras, unfortunately. And what else could I say? Well, let's see, I'm just eager to get back. You know, it's giving me a hard time now, so I'm just going to close the app completely. Quicker feedback, just send some feedback. I'm just going to say it lags. Hopefully they'll do something about it. For goodness sake, now I've got this one started, didn't I? Sometimes my fingers are too quick. So I'll be going back there, Instax share, and I'll be giving the Instagram a go instead. So now it's saying thank you for your feedback. So somehow it just has got stock here. Stuck, not stock. This is the way it looks. I mean the photo was rather faint from the get-go so I'm thinking it's a fairly good print from that. And here is that black and white picture on black and white film. I just can't see why it's going to be this bothersome right now. I would really have liked to be able to show you how it's going to work from the color film, but or just sh change the uh, cartridge. But I'm not going to give uh, keep you waiting here. I hope you did get something out of this anyway. I mean, I'm rather happy with the pictures as they are. I wasn't expecting too much. I'm actually pleased with the result. Thing, close. So let's see, now we're here again. Choose from Instagram. 
So there might be a problem with the Wi-Fi or something, some disconnection problem here, I'm thinking. And since I'm not going through my home, so now we've got there. Let's see if I can do something black and whitish. I do have rather black, dark there, so I'm just going to connect and print. It might, this one might have turned on, let's see. It's actually connecting to it. So I think I'll just do another black and white, but I'll do some um, filtering instead, just to show you what you can do with this. Perhaps I could make a collage just for the fun of it. I haven't made one yet. Right, so there we are. So I'm going to back now. Printing is complete. Okay, thank you very much. And could you go back, please? And it's all going back to my home Wi-Fi all the time, completely. So it's saying restoring wi wireless LAN settings. I'm not interested in that now, am I? So either I could just force it back, open it again, if it helps, I'm not sure. So what I would like to do is just choose a picture or a photo and preferably a black and white. I think I'll just go for one, one of those. I did print that one, I said I, I could choose something else and I couldn't I? I'm thinking that perhaps that one could be nice even though it's going to be black and white. And I could actually do, do a little bit of editing here. So I'm going to go for a filter. No I'm not, I'm going to go for a template and I'm going to go for a collage. So now I've got two of those. I'm thinking I could go for either a big one and a small one or I could go for a small one and a big one or I could go for... it's strange how it reacts to these things. I could go for a big and two small ones or the opposite way. Or I could go for four same ones. But I'm thinking this one could be nice. So the question is which ones to choose and which ones to do. I'm thinking it's going to give me bone balance if the big one is going to be there. So now I'm just going to choose another by pointing that, choosing that X there. I'm going to put that one there and I would like to edit the picture, not that one. Edit the picture. I could just drag it down a little, like so. And I would absolutely want to edit that one further. Let's see if I can find the companion for that. I'm not sure I'll be able to find it so quickly. So... I think I'll just... This is going to be black and white anyway, so I'm just going to choose a picture now, aren't I? Just to see where it's going to end up, like so. And... Well, I'm just going to go for the collage now. All of these are going to be black and white. Connect and print. And after this one, there's going to be one more. So I'm just thinking about what to do with it. This one turned out rather nice, actually. I'm just imagining having this one with my name and perhaps my address and everything. This could be a business card. So I'm just thinking about what more could I, would I want as a black and white picture. You know what, I'm thinking, now let's do a little bit of thinking here. Now that I know that this one is going to be sort of whitewashy, you see there's hardly anything left there. So I'm just going to choose this and I know that it's going to be black and white, but I'm going to do some editing to this. So I'm going to do, let's see if I can do template, I'm not sure if it's going to, yes, no, it's not, it's going to be a filter. So I'm going to go for the custom filter and I'm going to make it a little bit darker. So I can choose to change the brightness and the contrast and the saturation and I'm thinking that I could actually make it a little bit darker. So let's see, here is really light, whilst there I can actually see my face. Let's see. 
Contrast. Perhaps that's one missing as well. I think I'll actually go for that. Let's see if it, there's a difference to it. Could not connect to the printer. Connect and print. Searching for the printer. So let's see if I can make a change of it. Because this one was a, is a little bit wishy-washy, I must say. So I'm hoping I'll be able to make a difference with this settings here. You can see that I've done a little bit of a change there. So what I'll do now is... So now it's empty and now it's blinking. So now it's a signal of, hello, it's time to change. So I can just keep it in the charging position and I could just take it, you see there's a sort of a V there, just tear it from that point downwards and you need to be careful about getting your fingers anywhere, I mean this one is well protected and you have a yellow marking there, so keep that one there, just slide this one up there and now you can actually put your fingers in there Otherwise, this one won't be, I won't be able to put my fingers there because the film is going to be there. But now I can just take it from the outside and just slot it in like that. Do it like that. And then it's going to give me the sort of protective sheet. So there we have it. I'm not sure what to do with that one. Perhaps I could keep it. I'm not sure. Just throw it in, throw it in the waste bin. So you know what? I'm going to actually try a reprint. Hopefully it's going to remember. I'm not sure if it's... It, because I changed the cassette now. I remember from the last time I did this, I actually needed to... I mean, it's going to restore wireless LAN settings, so it's going to do it all over again. So I need to find the printer again. So you can see that it's going to coming to this. So close. And let's see if I can do a reprint. That could be nice. I'm not... Hmm, I'm thinking. Hmm. It could be nice to just compare these. The thing you might think about, of course, is that if you are having a picture as it is, it's going to be full-sized like so, with a lovely frame around it. But if you are going to add on some text, the image, of course, will be cropped, it will be shorter, and because the text itself is going to be there. So that's something to bear in mind. But it's a lovely thing if, it, if you would like to use it as, as a business card or something. Let's see. I do have that one there, and I'm sort of eager to see how it's going to differ from that one. Just by using those, those small adjustments. And... I can already see that it's going to be a little bit better, don't you think? So, just having a comparison, this is 20 years ago, and here I am yet again. So there's quite a difference, isn't there? Hmm, short hair, long hair, who knows where I'll end up. So I'm just going to close this one down. I hope you did get something worthwhile whilst looking at this. And I could just leave these here for a second or two, just to see if there's going to be any difference to them. My advice to you is that if you're on, on a budget, just go for the color prints, because I'm thinking that those, those are going to do a rather good job for you anyway. Here you can see that wonderful flower. It turned out rather nice, I must say. And here it is. And if you are looking for some quality kind of photos, well, you, should actually, you could actually go for a Canon selfie machine. I mean, I have the 900, I think there's a 1200 now, something like that. So, and it's a good machine, even though I do have to struggle sometimes with the Wi-Fi connection and paper jams and everything. But most, all in all, it's a good thing. Here we are with the latest prints, and I'm thinking that if these are given let's say two or three more minutes, they're going to turn out better. Or are they? Am I just imagining things? I'm not sure. Perhaps I could do more adjustments to them. I'm not sure. But there we have it. Bye-bye.